Reference 532 JB A Dramatic William the Fourth Rosewood Compendium Table Cabinet of Lofty Architectural Form Having Turned Rosewood Feet and Handles. It is inlaid with Mother of Pearl and opens both the top and the front. It has three drawers, one with its own lift out tray fitted for jewellery. The upper part of the cabinet is also fitted for jewellery, circa 1835. The architectural shape is emphasized by the turned gadrooning and the cavetto moulding. The doors open to reveal four apparent drawers. The top is blind and is in fact the front of the top compartment. This has been relined with velvet. The middle two drawers are for knick-knacks and jewellery. Inside the doors, the fielded panels are covered in gold-tooled Moroccan leather. The top lifts to a compartment, now relined with velvet and suitable for storing jewellery. The lid has a document wallet with a further compartment behind it. A gold tool framing is original. There is another compartment behind. One of the drawers has a lift-out tray with, which is fitted for jewellery. The leather and the silk are all original. The bottom drawer is a complete writing box with embossed velvet writing tablet it is in immaculate condition. The writing surface is covered in velvet, which is Tyrian purple. It was one of the most fashionable colors in the Victorian period. A synthetic dye was not developed until the beginning of the 20th century. Under the writing surface, there is the usual compartment for papers. The writing box is of dovetail construction. There is another compartment in the lid which has been relined with velvet. The inlay is stylized and symmetrical according to the neoclassical tradition and grace of naturalism. The structure of the doors is particularly complex. Central, fielded, inlaid panels are framed by turned gadrooning. The turned and carved feet these are similar to a slightly later table cabinet in Coromandel, 630 JB. The architectural shape is emphasized by the turned gadrooning and the cavetto molding. Both are complex and time-consuming to do.